From New York, here is I've Got a Secret, starring Steve Allen. Nice to have you with us here now for the moment panel. We're going to refer to this gentleman as Mr. X. So, Mr. X, the first question I must ask you, of course, is why, what made you try a voyage like this? Why did you do it? That's a tough question to answer, especially a man with a wife and two children. I departed June 1st, 1965, from Falmouth, Massachusetts, and sailed for Falmouth, England. There used to be an enormous hostility between two papers. The competition between them was so fierce that both sides had spies functioning within each other's operations. Mannery's employer, the Cleveland Plain Dealer, didn't even know he was going. The first we knew was when we got a letter that he left with his wife after he had set sail. We got word they were making plans to put their staff of editors in Falmouth, England, should he arrive safely. The Cleveland press thought, what if you could intercept him before he arrives in England? But what are the odds of finding one man in a 13 and a half foot sailboat sailing the Atlantic? So we had to believe that he's either gonna make it or he's gonna drown. Radar reported something out there. Then we saw the little boat out there bobbing. Pulled up next to him, gave him a blast on the ship's horn. <laughs> It was terrifying, <laughs> like the banshees of hell with this huge submarine. The captain yelled over, do you need any help? And I yelled back, no thanks. We thought he was crazy. We would have called the Coast Guard and said, come and get this guy. I broke my rudder. Fortunately, I had a spare rudder. And I put the spare on, and then about halfway across, the spare broke. People were beginning to worry about whether or not he was still healthy and alive. The tides are pretty treacherous off land. Oh, yes, they are very treacherous. What's the matter you're going to see a long time? How do you feel now? I'm not a bit worried. Well, it's simply a matter of waiting now. It's just Maybe that the boat is slow. Anybody who knew Robert wouldn't be afraid. The Manry story was so different and so beautiful because it was an adventure story and a happy story with no villains. It was every bit as big as Lindbergh crossing the ocean. Every bit as big. Even today, if I mention this, either the person will say, wow, that's fantastic. Or they'll say, what was he, nuts? Then there's, a, I guess, maybe a middle group where they'll say, wow, he's nuts, but that's fantastic. This is my sun helmet. <laughs>